with our students participating in e-learning, the classroom environment um, includes things that are happening in the background in our students' homes or whatever setting um, from which they are participating in e-learning. Right, even as um, an adult learner, I have difficulty focusing sometimes, and so um, I um, can sympathize or empathize with our young students who once they see something in the background and it grabs their attention, they're no longer focusing on what the teacher is saying and doing, but they're looking in the background to see what's happening. Right? Um, movement in the background can be a um, distraction, uh, just things that are happening in the, um, in the home that we are um, very accustomed to doing everything from making breakfast or lunch or just walking through the house checking the mail and so um, those things that we typically do in our um, homes which is, would be fine if they are done in the background of a student participating in e-learning can be a distraction for the class. So um, in the spring when we did e-learning in Richland 2, uh, based on where my daughter was positioned at the kitchen table, she was picking up, or the class was picking up everything that was happening in the background. So if I walked through and put a pot on the stove, people were seeing that. Or if I um, walked through to hang a coat, people were seeing that. And so what we um, figured out very quickly was that if she just positioned herself where her um, Chromebook is facing the wall, then her um, environment is free from distractions and you're not able to see all the carrying on that we had going on in the house. We um, really appreciate everything that our um, families are doing to um, really create the schoolhouse where um, school is happening, but it's happening in our, um, in our homes. And again, there are um, you know, some parents who have created some pretty elaborate learning environments, and that's great. There are others like myself who have not. Um, we've just, you know, just found a, a cozy and suitable place in the home for the child to participate in e-learning, and that's great as well. Um, our goal, though, is to reduce or to minimize any distractions in the in the background and so whether you're the um, parent who has created a, an extra special space or if you've just um, made an accommodation in a space that you already um, have so long as there are uh, or there is a reduction in background distractions you're a-okay <laughs>